Okay, it's now time to start to create a fresh movie for yourself. Uh, just make use of fresh to show one of your hobbies and your name and just uh, give a very simple introduction of yourself. And we can actually just close this fresh movie without saving it. And then we can start a new one again. And let's say I want to draw something. Uh, just write down my name first. I suppose I use the brush tool, and uh, and I write down. I and you can see that we have the first frame here. The black dot represent a key frame. Uh, that is a frame with something uh, draw or inputted on the stage. And then we can proceed to do what we call a frame by frame animation. That is recreate the animation one frame at a time so we can just select the second frame and then right click and then insert keyframe and then I proceed to write the letter A and then I create another frame keyframe in the third frame and you can see the bread dot right here and then write the word M. Actually, in key uh, in fresh keyframe represents a point of change where some changes happen in that frame. And now I can drag the playhead. You can see animation is just something like this one. Or you can press the enter key E N T E R enter. The animation will play. Okay. So we can just proceed to create a sentence using this technique frame by frame animation. And now as we can see I've created a total of 10 frames and if I drag the play here you can see the animation will play. This is what we call a fresh movie. And we can just print the, press the enter key or we can use the control and test movie key test movie and you can see this is the fresh animation we have just created and of course it will repeat it yeah. it will repeat after it plays to the end yeah. and uh, as you can see the movie seems uh, is uh, playing with a very high speed and actually we can slow it down yeah. You can choose this uh, FPS button. We call this the frame rate. And now it is a 24 frame per second. We can decrease it by dragging it to let's say 15 frame per second. And now we can test the movie again. It's a bit slower. If we again drag it to 10 frame per second. and then test movie again and now you can see the movie is played a bit slower uh, slower because it has a lower frame rate but however lower frame rates give less move uh, the movie is less move but uh, we have to compromise uh, this is just a compromise and let's say if you want to improve our movie to make it more impressive, we can insert a photo of, our, of ourselves. Uh, let's say a photo from the Facebook. Uh, of course, we have to insert a key frame first. And then you can select File, Import, Import to Stage. And we can locate the photo, of course. Click OK. And then here is the photo. And actually, we can resize the photo by using this free transform tool. And if you just resize it, you may also note that uh, the photo may be a bit taller or fatter. And uh, to make it to make the resize a bit more proportional, you can hold down the shift key. SHIFT shift key and then drag the photo and then 
the width and height will be resized in direct proportion and that will be better it okay this is it and now we can test our movie again control test movie and it seems that the yeah, the photo appears for a very short time and uh, it cannot be seen clearly to make it last a little bit longer we have to insert more frames to this last frame uh, this frame with the photo and we can simply insert frame or sometimes we can just insert a frame let's say at frame 20 and then the last frame will last a little bit longer and now we can test the movie again ah this is much better and note that from time to time for safety purpose you have to save your fresh movie select file and then save as and uh, this is uh, my first fresh click save and uh, this is only the FLA what we call the FLA file CS4 document uh, and uh, it is not for upload or turn in to a photo just for your own editing this FLA file and uh, we can continue to introduce ourselves for example our hobby and uh, let's say we insert another scene now the, we are now in scene one and to things make a little bit clear we can insert another scene insert menu and then scene and we now we then see that we are now in scene two and we can switch between the two scenes scene one and scene two by clicking this scene button scene two and now we can start over again for example I like iPad very much and then I can do another frame by frame animation in scene 2 And after we have completed our fresh movie, we can always switch between the two scenes and then select test movie. Test movie. And you can see that the two scenes will be paired in sequence and automatically. And after it has completed, it will rewind and play it again. And therefore, we can now save our fresh movie. So if you want to see this, this is the file where we have to save our fresh document. Uh, this is the fresh document. And if you want to turn in the fresh movie to a photo, however, we have to do another way. Do it in another way. Select file, export, export movie. And we will come up with a SWF file, shockwave file movie and you can enter your class, class number and your name as the file name and this SWF file can be readily played in any browser and now you can turn it to a photo, this file this file is a small letter F, red F with a white background this is for turn it, SWF for turn it and this one is for your own editing, yeah, for your future editing so thanks for watching this video bye bye